In this video, I'm going to show you mixing weed vocals in Reaper. So I have a project in front of me here with a weed vocal. And right now, it's dry, but let's hear it. When will tomorrow come? Today's a shadow, it's a dream. Haunted by the past, I can't escape the memory. Now, the first thing I'm going to try is making it sound wider or more stereo with a short delay. So go to the effects on this track, type delay in the filter, and I'm going to choose read delay because I know you have it as it comes with Reaper. And I'm going to set it to 150 milliseconds and put that on the left, then make a new tap over here, which is another delay, and set that to 180 milliseconds and pan that one to the right. So it'll make it a stereo delay. Let's hear what it sounds like with the vocal, just the wet. When will tomorrow come? Today's a shadow, it's a dream. Haunted by the past. It just widens it by adding a short delay to the left and right side. Let's hear it in the mix. When Next, I want to add a reverb to make it sound bigger, like it was recorded in a large room. Double click over here. We'll search in the filter, reverb. And I'm going to choose the reverb plugin, which again comes with Reaper, so I know you have it. Double click it. Now, this reverb uses impulse responses. And Reaper doesn't come with any impulse responses, but you can get some free on the internet. One of my favorite places. Is right over here. I'll leave a link in the description below. But if you go here, you can download these for free. And this is the reverb we're going to use on the vocal. Go back to Reaper, and then we'll go to Add and choose File. And if we go to the folder we just downloaded, we should have all these impulse responses. And the one I'm going to use is right here, called Fat Plate. Double click it, and now it's inserted into this plugin. Let's see what it sounds like. When will tomorrow come? Today's a shadow, it's a dream. Haunted by the past. Let's hear it in the track. When It's already starting to sound a lot better and more finished. But next, I want to add a compressor to contain the dynamics in the vocal, as it tends to get loud and soft at different moments. Double click over here, type in comp in the filter, and we're going to choose the Rhea Comp compressor. Because again, it comes with Reaper, but it sounds really good on vocals. I'm going to put it first in the effects chain, and it looks like this. I'm going to turn on auto makeup gain, bring this down a bit, set the ratio to 4 to 1, and adjust our threshold. When will tomorrow come? Today's a shadow, it's a dream. We can see the gain reduction right here. We can adjust the attack and release to how hard or quickly it compresses. When will tomorrow come? Today's a shadow, it's a dream. Haunted by the past. When will tomorrow come? Today's a shadow. Now, I'm noticing the vocal 
still sounds a bit dark. So I'm going to boost some top end with an EQ. Double click over here again, type an EQ in the filter, and we'll choose re EQ. Again, because it comes with Reaper, and I know you have it. Double click it. We'll put it after the compressor, but before the delay and reverb. We'll start with the first band and switch it to a high pass filter to roll off any low end rumble we don't need, which is getting in the way of the vocal cutting through. When will tomorrow come? Today's a shadow, it's a dream. I'm setting it at about 100 hertz, but now I'm going to reduce any mud in the vocal with the low mids being cut. When will tomorrow come? Today's a shadow. Just a bit at around 350 hertz. Then to bring up the clarity in the vocal, I'll boost the mids. When will tomorrow come? Today's a shadow. It's a dream. And finally, I'll boost the top end or the prettiness in the vocal with a high shoving EQ right here, which boosts from this frequency all the way up. So it sounds more natural with the highs. When will tomorrow come? Today's a shadow. It's a dream. Haunted by the past. I can't Let's hear that in the track. When will tomorrow come? Today's a shadow. It's a dream. Haunted by the past. I can't escape the Now that the vocal sounds nice and bright, I'm noticing some notes, mostly S's, jumping out. And we can fix that with a volume envelope. So let's go to the envelopes on this track. And we're not going to choose the normal volume envelope. We're going to choose the pre effects one, which shows up right here. And the reason for that is this envelope adjusts the volume before our compressor. As we'll see, if we adjust it now, it adjusts the waveform. So if we bring down any S's or pops, it's gonna happen before the compressor, which will sound more natural, as it's not triggering the compressor unnecessarily. So let's find the first offensive sound. Zoom in. When will to... Right over here, on the T. I'll create a Razor Edit, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and right drag, like this. Then we can drag down the S right here. When will tomorrow come? Today. The same right here. Create a razor edit. Bring it down. Today's a shadow. It's a dream. The same right here. Just go through the whole song fixing this up. It's a dream. It's a dream. A dream. Haunted. Haunted by the past. I can't. And the same right here, even though it's not an S. I can't escape the memory. Let's hear it back. When will tomorrow come? Today's a shadow. It's a dream. Haunted by the past. That sounds a lot better as we reduce the S sounds so our vocal is still bright, but not super bright on those phrases. So now we can just automate the whole thing. Let's hide this envelope, type V to show the normal envelope, and then put it 
in touch mode. Now we could write it through the whole song. When will tomorrow come? Today's a shadow, it's a dream. Haunted by the past, I can't escape the So that's pretty much it. That's mixing weed vocals in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo boys, let's go. Oh!